it's all a, a game, a huge, huge, terrible, bloody game, okay? Uh, of course it would make white people angry, of course! Why? Because the pigmentation of their skin determines their destiny? Excuse me? That is insane on one hand, but on the other hand, it's a part of a plan. If you keep pounding people and pushing people, okay? I'm not saying that there is no racism in this country, of course, but it's not just in this country and it's not just on one side. It is in many countries all over the world, by the way, including communist China. I'm not anti-Chinese, but I am anti-tyranny. I am anti the propaganda that we get that passes for so-called uh, news. It's not news, it's propaganda. And there's a big, big difference. So I think all of us need to grow the freak up stand up and understand once we understand there's very little they can do i'll say the most effective way to control people is to what control their minds control how they think make sure that they really don't critically think make sure that they're robots to be robotic this phenomena of chemtrails you know, when I was a kid, I used to see these trails in the sky all the time. And I said, oh, that's cool. A jet just went in. And then you started to see a whole bunch of them. And the next thing you know, everybody in the neighborhood was fighting and arguing, and you didn't know why. Okay? And, and you really didn't know why. I mean, everybody was fighting. You got the vaccine, they got the vaccine, we got the vaccine. We can get back to normal, let me inform you, let's all get the vaccine. It's about community immunity, I'm talking unity for you and me. If Doc says it's good, then trust me, it's good, now let's all get the vaccine. There is none higher, DMC, I will inspire. Time for us to trust and not debate. The vaccine, believe it's safe to take. Nine out of ten people won't get sick. That's 90% effective and legit. This COVID thing is real and it will find you. It's killing our people, let me remind you. Back in the days, back in the days, there was polio, smallpox, back in the days. Measles and mumps, man, back in the days. But because of the vaccines, none of those days. Vaccines, they work to trigger immunity. Two shots, we got antibody security. We gotta act now. No need to wait. Get your vaccine before it's too late. For That's why in 2015, I was the founder of Black Lives Matter in St. Paul. I believe the organization stood for exactly what the name implies. Black lives do matter. However, after a year on the inside, I learned they had little concern for rebuilding black families. And they cared even less about improving the quality of education for students in Minneapolis. That was made clear when they publicly denounced charter schools alongside the teachers union. I was an insider in Black Lives Matter, and I learned the ugly truth. The moratorium on charter schools does not support rebuilding the black family, but it does create barriers to a better education for black children. I resigned from Black Lives Matter after a year and a half. You see, this victim mentality is nothing more than a uh, deliberate slave mentality. Oh, I'm a slave! I can't do nothing, I'm a slave, I gotta depend on big brother. That's insane, and it's unacceptable. You're not a slave, and as we used to say back in the day, in the original Black Panther Party, not this so-called new Black Panther nonsense, but in the original party formed in Oakland, California in 1966, we said all power to the people, black, white, brown, red, yellow. Okay, our people. I hear these fools on TV talking about defund the police and things like that. We need police reform and prison reform and things like that. Because you know who ain't gonna defund the cops? White neighborhood and rich neighborhoods. So that notion they keep saying that, I'm like, wait a minute, we just gonna leave, who, who are black people supposed to call, Ghostbusters? When we have crime in our neighborhoods, we need police reform. Like I say, white people, especially rich white people, 
they're always going to have cops. So we need to stop that defund or embolish the cops crap. This country, in particular, uh, African Americans and the allies of African Americans. What do you want? What, what do you really want? Because you got, uh, because when Jay-Z went over there to talk to the NFL people, you didn't like that. Now you got, now you got Ice Cube, who's going over talking to both parties, trying to get some shit, and you don't like that. You say you want black men to step up, they're trying to step up, but every time they step up, you tell them they're stepping wrong, okay? Then, then you got, you have Puffy, remember Puffy had said a while ago that our vote is, is not for free that our vote is for sale, black folk votes is for sale. But now all of a sudden he's talking about, we, we gotta vote Trump out, we gotta take, we gotta, we, we can't take four more years. I, this is my question. You can't take four more years but you took 47 of the other niggas? What, what's going on here? You can't do basic math? You can't take four more years of someone who has actually helped do the research. The employment rate for black people was at its highest within these last three years. The HBCUs have gotten their money and he signed a document that said they can get them. It, the list goes on and on and on. I'm not gonna sit up here and play these games with you people. What do you want? Are you so angry and so upset with Trump that you can't see truth no more? Is that what's really going on? You just refuse to see the truth because you're just so upset with Trump. And upset with Trump about what? 47 years of bullshit. And when somebody is trying to go over somewhere else and to talk and to negotiate, then you don't like that. Maybe you just like getting your ass whooped. Maybe you just, maybe that's what you like. And you and then and then and then you get you like to get the ass whooped and then complain about the ass beating and so forth and so on. Maybe that's just the thing that you like. It's all the same. That's okay. This country is doomed. It is doomed, not just because of African Americans, but because by 2040, this country is going to be minority white European. You hear me? Minority white European. And you guys are gonna have to start working more with Hispanics, who make up a larger portion of the population than y'all do. And by the way, you know, I sit on the stand and it get hot. I got a lot of I got hairy legs that turn that 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 that, that turn uh, uh, um, blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair come back up again. They look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. We need to call them out for what they are. Just like I called Joe Biden out with his racist nonsense about you ain't black if you don't vote for me. That's racist. Listen, you got to come see us when you come to New York, VP Biden. I a, will. It's a long way until November. We got more questions. You got more questions, but I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. I'm supposed to be, and you too, we're supposed to be his slave. His slave! Exactly. Don't, I'm, and I'm not exaggerating, because a slave continues to be a slave if his or her mind is controlled. Oh my God, so sickening to see this man. Obviously, the globalists, the elitists, the real genuine racists, okay, the real fascists are pushing their program because look, brother, they not only hate us, and by us, I mean humanity, they fear us. And once we understand that, we realize that we are the ones who have the power. We the people. I'm not no Black Lives Matter supporter. You're not? No, absolutely. Why not? Because it's not our movement. This is a movement that was given to us by, you know, George Soros and his fucking boys. Um, because they saw how things were going and they didn't want it to go back to the 60s. 
to where we start having our own organic movements. That was a big fucking problem for them. So let's give the people a movement that we can control. We'll provide them the leaders and all of this type of shit. And um, yeah, that's what Black Lives Matter is. They're the leaders of Black Lives Matter. Are there leaders of oh, Black yeah. Lives Matter? Yeah. Who? It's these lesbian women who are trying to incorporate, you know, LG, whatever the fuck the letters are, incorporate those, their concerns into black people's concerns. Go to the website, look it up. Google George Soros and Black Lives Matter. See what you okay. um, and, not, and, you know, y'all out there, George Soros is a fucking multi-billionaire down with, you know, some of the 12 raised, richest people in the fucking He raised world. $100 million. Yep. The Black Lives Matter Coalition funding come in addition, comes in addition to more than 33 million grants from top Democratic Party donor George Soros. Okay, here we go. Okay, so the, yeah, so he he. Get, what he billionaire get, would have done that for the Black Panther 30, Party? 33 million. Well, well, hold on. Huh? Hold on. In high school, I read some books about the Black Panther. Mm-hmm. Charlton Heston, maybe people like that. The Black Panther movement would have. Uh, there was a there was a famous book called um, Radical Chic and Mao Mao and the Black Catchers. Okay. And it basically put you in these scenes where you had these, you know, the Huey P. Newtons and uh, the Bobby Seals would go to these rich white mm -hmm. families' houses and have these intellectual debates. Uh, I know these, about that. You know what I'm saying? With these million, these white millionaires. Did anybody give them 30 million? At well, at time? the end, white, rich white people have historically financed some of the stuff. Some of it, not all of it. Which is why I said you know some what I mean? Yeah, and, I didn't that was, and that was more guilt money rather than Fair enough. control money. So this started at the impetus of the whole shit. This is control money. This is not oh, I feel bad for what we've done as white people that came to my house and shame me, and now I'm going to cut you a check. You know what I mean? That's not what that is. That's about it. Let us give you a movement that we can control. Use certain symbolism from <clears throat> the original civil rights movement, like the black, you know, red, black, and green, all these different symbols. We're going to incorporate that, but only it's going to be a movement that we control. We decide what the messages are. We decide what the slogans are. You know, what happened to no justice, no peace, and you know, no peace, no justice. Now it's uh, hands up, don't shoot, fucking I can't breathe, and all these negative affirmations that, you know, who made that shit up? You know what I mean? It wasn't me, you know? And, and, and like, we're living in a, in a time of great social engineering, <laughs> okay? Now, if y'all don't know what social engineering is, go look it up. Like, peep, there's people out there that know how to scientifically make society do what they want it to do, how they want it to be done. They're engineering how society is should be. That's social engineering. So when we sit here and talk about, you know, things like false evolution, you know, we say, oh, hip hop's just going that way. No, it's not. It was socially engineered to go in the way that it's going right now. You see, this Black Lives Matter is a social engineering of how a civil rights movement should move. You see what I'm saying? And this is what we have to look at. Not everything is organic. Well, you also don't see any clear leaders in Black Lives Matter. You had uh, D-Ray. He's been kind of the face of Black Lives Matter for a while. Why when he's not the leader? You see what I'm saying? Why is he? There is leaders. This is what I'm telling you. They're lesbians. <laughs> They're black lesbians. These people are Sean King. He's a, he's a writer for uh, New York uh, Daily News. I'm not talking about the who, key people. Go to the fucking website. Who runs the shit? Is there a website? Yeah. Yeah. Right, and because when I looked at Black Lives BLM leader, the key people that it, it, there's no leader that, that's listed, but the key people that are listed is Sean King, uh, DeRay McKeeson, 
and Janetta Elzey. Those people don't run Black Lives Matter. Although they might be the face right now, they're not the ones calling the shots. But even if they're the face somewhat, they don't hold even remotely, remotely the significance of a Martin Luther King, exactly. Mal Malcolm X, Elijah Muhammad. Because those were real movements. Those were real movements Huey, starting Huey, from real Huey love. Huey P. Newton. Yeah. Right. Those were real movements. You know? Like MLK. Marcus Garvey. Come on. Let's, Marcus, Marcus Garvey, Garvey is, the, yeah. is the foundation of all of this in America. Um, I don't know who committed this crime, but believe me, once we find out, this person will be brought to justice. Are you getting a sense Very of this, this was one one This was a white police officer gunning down three blacks and injuring four. Wilson High School will be set on fire and every black leader, every community leader will be up here. Black Lives Matter, hands up. Blacks are murdering blacks every 32 hours since June. I've been in this town all my life. I'm 56 years old. I am afraid of being shot and gunned down by a black. Again, if this was a white police officer shooting and killing three blacks, people will be out here, the school will be on fire, People will be coming for him saying, I saw this white police officer. But because it's black on black crime, it is socially acceptable for blacks not to talk to the police. It is appalling. And every 32 hours since June, blacks have been murdering blacks. And y'all guys got to do a better job. We need to move. We are the modus and the modi for, for change, for bringing our, getting our republic back. Like Curtis Mayfield said, back to living again. And you know what? That's what we are going to do. And we're not going to let these sick, demented, despicable, okay, globalists and their neoliberal fascists, because that's what they are. They are neoliberal fascists, all right? We're not going to let them stop them. We shall not bend. We shall not. You are my brother. And I have millions of other brothers and sisters of all colors out there. And I say again, all power to the people.